It's Sunday, September 12th, 2021, and here's this week's balcony garden update. Okay, as you can see, this was one of the tomato plants that I had here. Um, I've pulled off most of the dead leaves and most of the tomatoes. Keep an eye on it. See if we get any more production this year. Keep the flowering still, so I think this one's still got a little more life left in it. There's the one that was grown from seed. It's still on the balcony. It's interesting how it was grown from an orange tomato seed, yet we get orange and red tomatoes. There's no rhyme or reason to this whatsoever. The one thing that's consistent is we get really nice tomatoes from it. Well, I'll just keep an eye on this one because it keeps producing. So let's head on over to my sister's place, see what's happening over there this week. Okay, so let's start over here with the cherry tomato plants. As you can see, yep, they're still flowering, which is great in September. We've got quite a bit of tomatoes from this, still growing them, which is amazing. amazing that these ones all came from the same seed. And yet these ones are red and the other ones are orange. This last one over here has got a lot of brown and dried up leaves on it, even though it's still growing tomatoes as you can see. Plants were kind of falling over, so it's almost mixed with the first big tomato plant here. Although it doesn't look so healthy at first glance, it still does have quite a bit of tomatoes on it. We've got this mystery plant here. I still think this is cucumber. That's still just the flower, so I don't know if that'll turn into anything or not. And over here we have a pepper plant. You can see you got a small pepper that's turning red here. One that is red and one that's turning red. And another one on the back of the plant there too. But it's still budding, so you never know what you might still get. Now these here were the red pepper plants. This one here along with the budding all over it. So we're going to see if that uh, generates any peppers there. You can see it's still flowering as well. You never know. And the second one here beside it. You can also see it's now got budding on it as well. So there is a possibility that you might get some peppers from this before the season is done, but I wouldn't expect big ones because there's probably not that much growing time left this summer. This guy seems to visit a lot when I do. Here we have the jalapeno pepper plant. You can see it's still growing jalapenos. There's another hot pepper plant. See this one's got a nice pepper on it. Doesn't seem to be doing anything else at the moment, just the one pepper. And we'll see if it does anything else before this season is done. The Hungarian pepper plant. You can see it's got a couple of peppers on it now. Still got some flowering. So this one still looks like it wants to produce some peppers this summer. 
Remember, at the beginning we only got one big pepper out of this one, so we'll see how this progresses from here. Now, we're in the home stretch with the onions here. It's interesting to see the ones that in the roots have produced another onion. And just where the greens are coming right out of the soil. And the ones with a little bulb on the bottom, as you can see, those were the ones that were grown from the beginning of the year. The garlic plants seem to be healthy, the ones that are still growing. And we'll just leave those in there at the end of the season, and hopefully we'll have garlic in the spring. And last but not least, over here on the end, this was the lemon seed. And it's still just a bunch of leaves. Healthy leaves, actually. Well, here we are in the middle of September, and you can see that we still have summer-like temperatures here in the mid-20s, which is really nice for Toronto. And a lot of the plants are still growing, so we'll keep an eye on them, and as long as they keep growing, we still have a balcony garden season. So thanks for watching, we'll see you next week.